Hi everybody! Today we're going to read Curious George's first day of school. We've had a fun week here and little Curious George, he gets into some antics. So I thought for Fantastic Friday, this would be fun to read about all the troubles that Curious George gets into. So here we go. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George was so excited he could barely eat his breakfast. You have a big day ahead of you, George, said his friend, the man with the yellow hat. It was a big day for George. It was the first day of school and he had been invited to be a special helper. George and his friend walked together to the schoolyard. Some of the children were nervous, but George could not wait for the fun to begin. In the classroom, George's friend introduced him to Mr. Apple. Thank you for inviting George to school today, the man with the yellow hat said to the teacher. Then he waved goodbye. Have a good day, George. I'll be back to pick you up after school. The children were excited to have a monkey in class. George is going to be our special helper, said Mr. Apple. And what a helper he was. At story time, George held the book. At math time, the children could count on George. I think this is my favorite, the way George holds the book with his feet. And at recess, George made sure everyone had a ball and a well-balanced snack. After lunch, Mr. Apple got out paints and brushes. George saw red, yellow, and blue paint. Three colors were not very many. George was curious. Could he help make more colors? First, George mixed red and blue to make purple. Next, George mixed red and yellow to make orange. Then George mixed yellow and blue to make green. Finally, George mixed all the colors to make a big mess. The children thought the mess was funny, but Mr. Apple did not. Oh dear, he said, we are going to need something to clean this up. Everyone, please sit quietly while I look. Let's get our quiet. All right, that means quiet. George did not mean to make such a mess and he certainly did not want to sit quietly. He wanted to help, it was his job after all. George had an idea, using his thinking finger. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Take your thinking finger and think along with George. In the hallway, George found a closet. In the closet, he found a bucket. In the bucket, he found just what he needed. What do you think it is? Thinking, thinking, a bucket and a... What cleans up a mess? A bucket and a... A mop. Good job, kiss your brain. Kiss your brain, everybody got it. And look at the wheels. Would you just love to ride on a mop bucket with those wheels? I would say, I do. George was on his way back to the classroom when he heard somebody yell, stop, stop, what are you doing with my mop? The janitor ran after George, stop, stop, no running in the halls. This is teacher alert. The principal ran after the janitor, but George was going too fast to stop. He grabbed the doorway and swung inside and The bucket tipped, the mop dropped, and George slid across the floor. Now the mess is even bigger. Mr. Apple looked surprised, the principal frowned, the janitor just shook his head. And George, poor George, he felt terrible. Maybe he was not such a good helper after all. Poor George, let's do that. Wee, wee, wee. Poor George, there's a lot to look at on this page, so I'm gonna give you some time. Look at that. Poor guy. The children felt terrible too. They did not like to see George looking so sad. They thought he was a great helper and now they wanted to help him. So the children all lent a hand and some feet. That means they helped, right? Look at that. When we work, what friends? Together. And before anyone knew it, the mess was all gone. 
That little monkey sure is helpful, the janitor said. It looks like Mr. Apple has a whole class full of helpers, the principal added. At the end of the day, when George's friend arrived to pick him up, Mr. Apple said, oh, thank you. Thank you for all your help, George. We hope you will come help us again. The children cheered and they hoped George would come again too. George waved goodbye to his friends. What a great day it had been. He was so excited to go back to school. He says, goodbye, we're going, goodbye, we're going. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy first week of school. And we all say the end.